Hey everybody, Lonely Trans Girl here. Um, just doing some camera faffing today. Not even sure if I'm going to post it or anything, but um, to get some footage to play around with and try and figure it out. I did a shakedown run a few days ago with all my luggage for camping and everything on um, Sami, and that all worked out really well, but the, I had so much trouble with the cameras and I messed all that up and plus I had no audio my microphone came unplugged so all that footage went crap so today I'm just um, heading out trying to do some camera shakedowns and figure all that out and see if I can get that to work what I found out is this really cheap camera I have when you press the shutter button it wakes it up it doesn't actually start recording so that was a big part of my problem is I'd either wake it up and not turn off the the recording or wake it up and not start it so I think that was my problem I think I got it now um, but yeah I already did this is just the baggage that I have I had another um, duffel bag on the back here a little backpack and yeah it all works out really really well and something I just wanted to show you <laughs> uh, uh, this gear shifter that I was having trouble with last time I was riding when I went to the parking lot. I adjusted it so that it doesn't... it barely hits the, the crash bar now, so that was as high as I could set it, but it was still really hard to get my foot under there, but it does shift easier. So <laughs> all I did really was grab a giant box end wrench and put the closed end around there and bent it up and forward a little bit um, and yeah now it works great so I guess um, Honda if you need another engineer I'm available all right so I'm not sure where I'm going or what I'm doing I'm just at the end of this really pretty quiet little road up in the middle of nowhere where I live so I'll head up into the hills a bit, to the top of June Springs, and then maybe I'll head over to, um, up to the top of Postal and get a view over there. Just see, it's a little chilly today. It's nice and sunny, but the air is a little bit cold. Anyway, let's get this show on the road and see if I can figure this shit out. Oh, another thing from last time when I did my shakedown run is I tried riding with contact lenses on. Well, let me tell you that's a game changer I loved it I had none of this like fogging up shit that's happening with my glasses constantly you know just turning your head to look like the glasses don't dig in your face it's awesome they're expensive but I think I'm gonna buy some because that was really cool I enjoyed that a lot and we've talked about my thoughts on glasses even though these ones are really comfortable in my helmet and everything uh, contacts are amazing. Love that. Right, let's do it. This is a really nice area with a lot of big ranchy houses. finished watching the first episode of Yellowstone so that looks like a big like corporate developer <laughs> a cute little puppy it's pretty good I got through it that like halfway through it the first time I tried it um, yeah, it was better this time as I said last time I, I watched it I just finished watching Dances with Wolves and Kevin Costner was so much more like idealistic in that movie <laughs> than he is in Yellowstone so that was a little bit of a disconnect but. I'm ready now now that wind is chilly on my face look at these mansions anyway I'm not going to complain too hard it's still better than winter and snow if that makes me happy see if I can get out of here without causing a disturbance. <laughs> we got 
this Masami, don't we? No problem. We can do anything we want. I really, really like how these pegs feel underneath my feet. I feel so much more planted on the bike. That boosts your confidence. It feels like I couldn't even be knocked off this thing if I wanted to. It makes peg weight waiting a lot easier at the bigger. More secure surface too. Holy, this wind is cold on my face. My eyes are watering. Maybe while we're out and about and um Got nothing really to talk about. I'll talk about what I have planned for the summer, maybe. Um, nothing super solidly planned yet, but I'm kind of working out on some fun things to do um, pretty much every month. Something fun to do, because it's been a long winter and it hasn't been a lot of fun. You, my glasses are fogging up. Not my visor, my glasses. But yeah, it hasn't been a lot of fun sitting in my room. I've been doing that for about four months. So. And I have something planned every month for the next four months. So, um, well, not the next four. May, starting in May. Um, and May, uh, I think I mentioned it before, I'm heading to Bella Coola, spoiling myself with a room at a lodge. I'm try and do some hiking or just, I don't know, get out. <laughs> <laughs> take myself on a holiday something nice for me and then June I haven't done it yet but I'm really really thinking about signing up for a BMW certified off-road training program offered by um, I think it's Pacific Riding School We're out of Vancouver um, but there's only two certified BMW off-road instructors in BC and they have one working for them. And uh, I can make a weekend adventure out of it because they're holding it in Nanaimo at a uh, motocross track. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's, it seems pretty extreme. But just thinking about taking Masami on a motocross track or uh, doing a lot of these things. I've seen some of the training they do online. Uh, it's a little bit above my skill level, but that's what I'm going to go and learn. And then um, I should be more than capable of going anywhere I feel like I want to go. Because I'll never get that hardcore on my own. But it'd be nice to be like, uh, should I go that way? And just be like, fuck yeah, I'll go that way, man. I'm a BMW trained off-road rider. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. You can rent one of their bikes and use them if you want, but I really want to learn on Masami. And he's got all the protection on him. I, I know I'm going to drop him, but hopefully that's part of the program and part of helping me get over that fear too. And he should be well protected. He's got all this kit. And, uh... Yeah, I think that'll be a really fun time too. Plus it's a weekend away, right? So uh, yeah, I get to go to Nanaimo, ride the island. I'll probably stay at um, Soup Potwells again on the way home because it gets out Sunday night. And that's um, a little late to do the 10 hour ride back home. Well, that's up to the trestles and that is definitely above my skill level. <laughs> I am not gonna do that. Maybe after my training, I'll be like, that's not so bad. There's some channels of gravel and grip in there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so, though. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. 
and then um, in July I have my Horizon, Horizons Unlimited meeting in the cusp and I've actually signed up to be a volunteer for that because I was like, eh, I don't really know what's going on. I've never been to one of these functions, or maybe I'll go to one before I volunteer. But then I also thought, like, I'm going by myself. Like, it's not like I have friends or family there that want to hang out with me. So <laughs> I don't mind helping set up. And then uh, I volunteered to be a, a greeter at the gate on opening days. And then to help clean up, because... Um, I really love Nikas, but it's one of my favorite places. I've got no problem staying behind a bit and helping tidy up and making sure that Nikas is happy and wants us back. And then August will be my holiday tour of Washington, which I'm still trying to figure out. I don't exactly know where I want to go. I'm starting to watch videos on the best things to do in Washington and it's hard because they're kind of all over the place. Like it's it's hard to make a nice tour loop out of all the places I want to see. Yeah, I'll work on it. I'll figure something out. But uh, yeah. It goes to another part of like my personal issues over the last couple weeks is like it's like peopling <laughs> and they kind of like had an idea with my Washington trip that I would make friends down there online and then I would go and visit them on my holidays and they'd show me around and we'd have a good time just have more friends <laughs> it doesn't really sound like you're asking for a lot but it's tough dude it's so hard and um, Trying's really been tough on my self-esteem. Like I always, I thought for a long time, like I didn't have a big network of people because I never really tried, and I was really introverted and really scared, and I didn't want people to really know who I was. And, you know, like four years into this process, I figured maybe, maybe I'm ready to start introducing myself to people, and was like, ah. Uh, I'm horrible at it. I'm not good at peopling. Uh, I have a lot of damage and trust issues. And that shines through, I think, with people. They can pick up on that. And it makes me more like a red flaggy kind of person than someone you really want to spend time with. So I found that kind of hard. And then I've been on holidays this week, so I did have tickets to a really cool like um, drag paint night which I can't usually go to because I'm working but I was like oh my god I'm on holidays and I got tickets for me and my friend and <laughs> I mean like she's got family shit going on so it's like I understand but like she cancelled kind of on the last minute on me and I didn't have time to like find someone else to go with me and my self-esteem was such a crapper I just didn't have the confidence to go on my own so I kind of skipped out on it uh, it was really sad because there was a couple people I work with that went there and they sent me messages asking where I was and saying they saved a spot for me at their table and like <laughs> and I just wasn't expecting that like I knew that they were going to be there but I didn't think that we'd all be like together I thought we'd still be spread apart and I didn't want to just be there alone <laughs> and like eh, so um, but that was really nice and that kind of sparked my thought on like my trust issues and like uh, my brain always goes to like that people are thinking the worst of me or you know what I mean and there is there is good people in my life but it's like I just I don't focus on them enough, and then they end up fucking off too, right? Because uh, it's just hard. It's really hard. But uh, I'm gonna, like, I'm just kind of taking a step back from trying so hard, I guess. And then just gonna spend more time with myself, working on myself, trying to develop, like, not just saying it, but trying to develop an actual compassion and love for myself 
and that's hard too like I uh, spent so many years like looking in the mirror and wanting to vomit <laughs> like, there wasn't a lot about me that I enjoyed right so it, it is difficult to find that I told my friend um, so many times I want to quit and give up but I grew up watching Wile E. Coyote <laughs> <laughs> Dude wouldn't give up for shit. It's kind of my role model, so it's, uh, it is tough though. Huh? I took myself out yesterday on a date and went to go watch the sci-fi movie 65 with Adam Driver. It wasn't like a brilliant movie, like it was really formulaic and like you, you knew exactly what was gonna happen the whole time, but uh, it was kind of cool, man. It had like ancient forests, the dinosaurs, and like space travel and pulse weapons. <laughs> kind of had like a nerd smorgasbord, so I was okay with that part of it. I thought it was it was fun. And uh, then I took myself out for an early dinner, late lunch, and that was funny because I actually went to like a sit-down restaurant by myself, which. Um, when I'm by myself I don't normally do or if I do I'm usually in my riding gear and I think that looks more acceptable when it's like you're riding some through town or something and it's like of course you're by yourself but you can't have a group of people on your motorcycle but um just going there like as a norm like <laughs> I walked in and the manager's like oh are you meeting friends and I'm like no just me on a date with myself and he's like oh um would you like a seat at the bar and i'm like no i, I came to eat I, i'd like a seat at the dining room and he was just kind of like okay and the, <laughs> the uh, hostess came over and and he kind of slunk away <laughs> so that was a little awkward my server was super sweet and next to all worked out well. Yeah, I had a really good salad and some really nice pretentious drinks. Great for me. And yeah, taking yourself out on a date's a lot cheaper than going to someone else, to tell you that much. And then I just went to Mission Creek and did a little walking around the path and smoked some weed and had a coffee. And yeah, just trying to enjoy my company again, which I was really starting to do before started putting myself out there th earlier this year <laughs> it's been tough <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore <laughs> I'm pretty good to me and I think I need that right now so yeah Maybe now would be a good time for me to just shut up, put on some music, play with my editing software, and uh, I'll take a little twist through the twisties. How's that sound? Build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh, And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure Moving closer, no exposure I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough I don't want to feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear 
That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy yeah. all this stuff it sucks when you finally feel like giving up Oh God, no luck Everything feels like you're sticky stuck I'm lost, handcuffed To the bed where I sleep, don't give a fuck Can't stop, unplug Feeling overwhelmed, I think I've had enough uh, Gotta find a way to get some energy Gotta find someone who's a good friend of me I need purpose to make it all worth it I'm still searching and I'm still learning I want a life that's filled with memories Not a life with regret in front of me I need focus to keep me from hopeless Psychosis if I keep moping I got nightmares in my head, I feel that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff Right, so I'm um, here. I don't even know what this park is called, but it's um a little place pretty close that I'll probably come this summer just to um, try out some hiking. I'd like to start coming with my bike with my stuff, and just so I can see what it'd be like when I'm out on the road trying that. So I probably do that this summer sometime. It's a nice little area. I think there's a waterfall up in here somewhere. I'm trying to find some more information on places to hike around here and there's a ton. I've actually joined a hiking group that meets every Sunday so and uh, we're meeting tomorrow in Peachland and the person that puts it on is um, really like uh, studies mycology and stuff so she's teaching us a little bit about local plants and mushrooms and it's really cool. She lives off grid year round and provides her own food. Yeah, it's really cool. I like that. So, yeah, there's a cool little dirt trail down here that I don't think I'm allowed to go on, but I'm going to anyway. Even though this mountain biker that rode by just looked at me like I had four heads. Wow! <laughs> Nobody ever does that. <laughs> Get a new look, you guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not really allowed in here, <laughs> but I'm going anyway. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, this looks sandy. Uh, I was watching a rider I really like called the Mizzen Flyer doing a tour from Alaska down to Oregon. And I thought it was really funny because <laughs> every time he had like a little piece of gravel or roadworks he got like really sketched out. I'm like, that's the fun part, TMF. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> out like 
intentionally looking for roadworks. I don't know. Maybe I'll do fine on my training program because <laughs> I find that shit fun as hell. All right, I'm gonna make my way over to Pasta Lake Lookout, and I will get back to you then. Okay, bye. Yeah, I was just about to say something profound and my GoPro battery died. But um, anyway, I'm here at my favorite lookout spot um, up on Pasta Lake Road. And it's actually a little bit sad because it looks like someone's going to be building a house right here. Which is cool if you're going to be the one living in it because what a spectacular view. It's my favorite one, really, in town. I love it, but I'm not keen on seeing this become a subdivision. That's kind of sad. But that view is spectacular. But now there'll be a big fence, probably, and a big house blocking it. So when I come up here, I won't be able to see it that much, which is a little bit sad. Cause look at that view. It's stunning. Even at this time of year when everything's still kind of dead. It's got the different shades of browns. And I love the snow in the hills, I really do. I don't love it on the ground or on the road, but <laughs> it looks nice in the mountains. And I feel a little bad, I was kind of ribbing DMF there a little bit, but it, to be fair, he was riding the GS, which is heavier than my bike. He had his partner on the back, and he's got some arthritis in his shoulders. And not everybody loves riding on dirt either, so... Sorry, TMF. That was a really cool tour, though. Uh, binge watch the whole thing the other night again, just to, like, repeat it and, and check it out again. I loved it. And it made me kind of think, like, maybe I'll find a campsite on the border of Washington and just rip in, do the Lolo Pass, and come back out, but... It's a long ride. I don't know. I don't want to risk being stuck in fucking Idaho or Colorado. <laughs> Not Colorado, sorry. Colorado's fairly decent. Wyoming? Is it Wyoming? Anyway, I don't really want to be caught in one of them, like, states that doesn't like people like me. <laughs> <laughs> when the sun goes down, not going to be fun. So, uh, and then I was thinking maybe I'll boot all the way down to Crater Lake in Oregon and make that like a, a V part of the, of the tour and figure out, maybe that would help me figure out scheduling and planning, but it's, it's at the very Southern tip of Oregon. It's kind of far away. So, um, when I go down through Cal to California, I'll, I'll stop at Greater Lake then, because I do want to see it. It's really cool. But, um, yeah, I was watching some shows yesterday on the on places to go in Washington and the different national parks and stuff. It, there's a lot of it looks really cool. There's a place, I think the North Cascades Park, and let's say it's like the Swiss Alps of, of America. <laughs> so, <laughs> the pictures there looked absolutely stunning. Okay, well, I got my little view in. It's a little white way up in the distance. Yeah, I really like it up here. Let's go see what these people's place is going to look like from their patio again. Like, look at that view they get from there. That field and the lake. And that mountain. That's one of my favorite mountains up there. Don't know what it's called, but it's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's make our way down the hill. I, when I passed the little hobby farm, the goats were out. Maybe we'll stop and say hi to the goats. All right. Let's see the little animals. I think those are llamas. I don't know if you can make out the little goats on the tables up there, but they are so cute. Hi guys! It's 
anyway I think that should get me enough footage to play with and try getting this camera shit organized so that when I actually do go somewhere fun that I just don't ruin the whole thing by fucking up the footage and uh yeah thanks for joining me if anyone did not really like anything special but you helped me gather footage for me to practice with well, I appreciate that so uh y'all take care We'll leave you with some cute animals. Bye. See you soon. <laughs>